Hello everybody, today we're back with another video. This is continuing our series in the Disney merchandise locations, all about working at every single one. Today we're talking about Hollywood Studios. All right, and let's get started. So, moving in to the entrance of the park, right over here, this is probably around like six and kind of in that middle section. Um, probably I'm saying because I haven't worked here, um, but this is Crossroads slash Oscars Super Service. So you can see here, it's more of like arrival, working, um, you know, the entrance and exit of the park. And you can see the costumes here. They're pretty cute. This little teal outfit. Um, but that's really all that I know about it. I think the break room is pretty close by, but that's all I know. All right. Hollywood Boulevard. Again, I didn't work here, so I'm not sure, again, the break room situation, but... Um, the costume is the same as like the other boulevards, so there's pretty much two main costumes in Hollywood Studios, but Hollywood Boulevard um, has a couple of different uh, stores like Keystone Clothier, uh, Keystone Clothiers, I don't know how to say that word, um, Celebrity 5 and 10, Mickey's of Hollywood, and The Dark Room and all these ones. And so this is kind of like your main street area, just like Magic Kingdom, where you have the general merchandise. You can find pretty much everything. Um, and I would say it's probably the same vibe as all the main street shops. All right, moving over to Sunset Boulevard. So this was actually the first place that I worked, um, working uh, EHS. Um, and so we can see that this is 60, 62, 57, and 61, that area. It's kind of easy to find. It's hard to like get to the break room and stuff if you don't know where it is and find where backstage is. But other than that, it's not too bad. You can probably just go into the store and then ask a cast member how to get around. That's what I did and someone was nice enough to help me out. The vibes are pretty nice. People again are shopping here pretty leisurely. Um, it's like they're not coming off of a ride. So if they come in there, it's usually like for the purposes of shopping. So that means that they're usually in a better mood. It's also a good place people stop by after um, the shows or during the show so it can get like not I would say not busy, but you see some larger interaction during the fireworks shows, people getting last minute things. Um, there's not really that many perks. The break room is one of the main break rooms of Hollywood Studios. So that one I would say is the nicest break room because they have like a full cafeteria, they have a little uh, cast member store and all that type of stuff. So the break room's pretty nice. Um, you sell pretty much whatever merch, you know, pretty much a wide range of merch available on Sunset Boulevard and there's not really that strong of a theme. Yeah, my personal experience there was not the best because it was my first shift so again I was kind of like new just figuring things out and some of the other people working there were not necessarily like the most helpful and I also had to like close registers which I never had to do at my home location so I didn't really know um what to do and they weren't like helping out but you know it's fine and i had a closing shift so you can see in the little picture like i was able to close out the park and i was like one of the last peoples in the park which is a crazy experience all right we're moving over um across the way to the other well not the other but one another big location so this is taking up a lot of space so this is the theater loop so theater loop consists of a lot of different locations it consists of tattoo and traders which is the star wars shop it's at like 18. it also consists of the theater loop itself which is muppet vision actually no i'm not sure if Tatooine and theater loop are the same but they do share a break room um, but the theater loop is going to be the Muppet Stage 1 company store. That's another assignment. And then the, like, rotational one would be the Indie Express, which is down near 8 or 15-ish. The Frozen Fractals, which is at, like, 19. Oh, sorry. The Indie one is at, like, 14-ish. And then there's another store, I think, around, like, 17. So those kind of stores, you would be put on rotation in one shift. Um, I ended up being at Frozen Fractals the entire shift that I did. Um, and then I think, yeah, the Muppet store is another place that you just work on its own um, in a different shift, but it's the same like location assignment, if that makes sense. Like that's one home location, but different days you can be assigned to different ones. And then within a day, if you're in the loop, you would be looped throughout different locations. So it was a little bit hard to find, um, but not really if you're coming from backstage. 
it's like the first you know place to go so once you know how to get there it's not too bad but it's like a little bit confusing if you've never been there um the break room is the second main one in hollywood studios so this is like kind of nice but the only thing is it's kind of far so you have to spend a lot of your time walking to the break room which sucks because it takes up a lot of your break time the merch range is pretty limited because the muppet one sells mostly muppets the indiana jones one sells mainly like I don't know, adventure stuff, and the Frozen one obviously only sells Frozen things. Um, the theme is kind of eh, because these are mostly like outdoor stores. I mean, I just worked at Frozen the whole time, so that one, the theme was like not really there, but it was really interesting because the flow of guests were like nobody for 20, 30 minutes, and then when a show let out, it would be super, super busy. Um, and it's kind of nice though that you're in the middle of the park, so you're in the middle of the action, you get to see all the stuff happening, you get to see the stages moving in and out, and um it was very very hot that's the one thing is that it's you're outside all day so it's super hot backstage is really far away which i didn't like so that if you need to take a breather if you need to get some cold air like there's nowhere to to escape to there's nowhere to go because you're just like in the middle of the whole park as you can see like at 19 there's no backstage area so you have to go all the way down to like 17 or all the way out to like 8 and past there to get to like a bathroom or just water or anything like that all right tattoo and traders this store is pretty fun especially if you're a star wars fan there's a lot of room for interaction you can play with lightsabers and staffs and all that stuff the best thing i think is the build a lightsaber if you're assigned there um you can see in that top right corner it's really fun really interactive you get to help out you know kids and adults um, build their own lightsaber so that's super fun and interactive the theming is pretty nice it's all star wars merch so it's limited but it's a lot of star wars merch and then there's a pretty big back room area for stocking and things like that so this is a pretty good location um, and the other thing is that it's at the exit of a ride so again like it'll get guests in kind of waves because they'll come after the ride um, but the ride's always going so it's pretty consistent and then also because this used to be one of the only Star Wars locations before Star Wars land people would come in for specifically Star Wars things. All right we have It's a Wonderful Shop. Unfortunately I never got to work here but I think it would have been super cool because all the Christmas stores are I think probably really fun to work at. It's probably a great atmosphere. The costumes are really cute. I couldn't find a picture but they are very Christmassy and I, I do think that's part of the theater loop as well. All right, so here we have Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. So this was not open when I was down there, so I don't know that much information about it. All I know is that people um, were concerned that the costumes were going to be very warm. I don't know how true or not that ended up being, but from the looks of it, they do look like they're probably a little bit toasty, especially in the Florida heat, but I'm sure the merchandise is really wide range of Star Wars things. All right, then we have Toy Story Land. So this is going to be around like 40, 39. It's mostly carts. There's no really standalone store over here. It's just carts. And so these are the costumes. They're um, red, blue, and yellow, uh, kind of matching the theme of Pixar. Um, it's pretty, I would say, easy to find. Um, I didn't work this one, but I know it's part of the animation courtyard like assignment but you'd be assigned to just Toy Story Land and then rotate throughout like the two or three carts that are there. Um, the thing is that it is a cart so you're probably like the only one there. It's probably gonna be really hot and there's probably nowhere to like take a breather but that's all I really know about Toy Story Land. All right and then animation courtyard. This was my dream location. I really really wanted to be assigned here but it didn't work out. Um, I did take pick up a shift here and um, I worked floor stock, which again was like one of my first um, extra shifts. And so it was a little bit crazy because I didn't know what to expect. But the main animation courtyard area is going to be right near 47, near Ariel's um, Little Mermaid Voyage. And there's two stores over there. There's another store up at Municiburg at like 44. And then there's Walt Disney Presents store inside 46. And so these are all really nice locations because they're all somewhat indoor. They have AC and they're pretty relaxed. So this would have been an amazing place. Plus the costumes are super duper cute. They have like, you can't really see in the picture, but they have like little sketches in colors of all the different characters. So the costumes are awesome. And it's mostly little kids who come here because again, uh, the studio store is one of the only places they have Disney Junior merch. It's across from the Disney Junior show, which is one of my favorite things to do. And the Walt Disney Presents store has a bunch of 
products that are like related to the new releases so if um you know coco's coming up they probably have a lot of coco merch and so forth it was pretty easy to find once you know it's again this um one their break room is the main break room and um there's not really any perks merch range is so so um pretty much standard costume loved it the theme um i mean i like the theme just because it's all about like animation and drawing and there's some like kid stuff and i like the theme but it's not super themed guests are pretty nice and chill there again it's a lot of kids and families it's not super busy um and the people who i worked with there were pretty nice we have launch bay up next and so this one you do have to get special star wars training to work here so i don't know much about it um but i know people who really love star wars want to work here and like working here um that's all i know about that one all right now moving down to the bottom of the map here it's going to be hollywood hills so this is another one of my favorite locations that i worked and this is going to be the rock and roller coaster shop the tower of terror shop the carts and then the lightning mcqueen's racing academy little stall this was one of my last shifts and it was super fun especially because i was on even though i was floor stock i got to be on register for the car show so i got to see this outside dance party like i don't know six or seven times which was like repetitive but it was really fun and i liked watching you know there's different people every time and then i did floor stock which i love so that's you know going around stocking things you get to be on your own a lot and i stocked for both the tower of terror and for rock and roller coaster the themes are pretty nice. The break room is in a little trailer, so it's not really part of the main break rooms, but it's private and it's pretty chill. The guests are um, not too bad. Like They're usually pretty chill and they're usually people who really love either cars or Tower of Terror or Rock and Roller Coaster because that's what the merchandise is. And the merchandise is pretty specific to these attractions and some of it's stuff you can only find in the stores. Um, it's not too busy, I would say. Again, it's like people are either there because they really love the ride and they want to shop or they're just passing through. And then we have Fantasmic. I don't know much about this, but I do know that some people really, really enjoy it. It's more of kind of like the glow carts or ODV where you're standing and you have your merchandise and you're doing more entertaining and hyping up the crowd, that type of stuff. So that's it for Hollywood Studios. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be happy to um, answer any questions or talk more about any of this stuff with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!